So that recorded meditation that we just experienced together, it'll be available on YouTube as a podcast. It will even arrive in your inbox tomorrow if you're signed up to um, receive emails from us. And so please know that that's there as a resource that you can count on in the coming weeks. If you hit a wall and you can find five minutes to take a little self-compassion break and offer a blessing to yourself. The Irish poet and mystic John O'Donohue writes, on our farm in the winter, we put the cattle out on the mountains into the wintridge. There, the grass has been preserved all year, even in the worst weather, in frost and snow, the cattle still have fresh fodder. Because the landscape is so bleak, there is little shelter. Every so often out there, one notices semicircular walls and the cattle know them well. These are sheltering walls when winds and storms blow up. Similarly, when you invoke a blessing, you are creating a sheltering wall of rest and peace around a person. So much depends not on how awkward destiny is, but rather on how openly it is embraced. We can create this sheltering wall for each other with our words. It is an ever available resource. And I want you to know that when you find yourself out in the harsh pastures of COVID holidays and COVID winter, braving the elements, you too can text for a blessing. You can text the Reverend Elaine text a blessing hotline. I am serious. Pick up your phone if it's next to you right now, put my number in your phone. You can do it right now. It's 970-568-5580. And when you need a blessing, just text this blessing hotline and you'll receive a blessing from me. And if you have a specific request, just let me know. We create sheltering walls of blessing around each other with our words and also with our deeds. In acts of kindness, we offer each other blessing. We've been talking about the kindemic this morning. This, these acts of sweetness and connection that are spreading all throughout Northern Colorado. And I'd like to share my kindemic story with you. As a staff person, I had the honor of starting one of the kindemic strains. Now, of course, you don't even have to be the recipient of a strain to uh, embark on your own kindemic journey. You can just go for it as soon as you want. But to get things started, Katie Watkins, our Director of Finance and Operations, Katie went out of her way to personally drop off a special journal and some instructions for me at my house in the late afternoon one day. And after this quick handoff took place, Katie could have hopped right back in her car, that's what I expected her to do. But instead, she lingered in the driveway with me and asked me how I was doing. And then she listened. And then she shared with me from her life and nothing about her way of being with me indicated that she had anything more important to do in that moment than just stand there with me in my driveway, both of us distanced and wearing masks and to chat for a bit. And I think on that particular day, Katie was the first adult that I had had an in-person interaction with since my husband had left for work super early that morning. She blessed me with her attention and her acknowledgement of my reality. Her blessing shone light on my interconnection with all things, which can get a little dim when you're inside your, the COVID fortress of your house all day long. And I was left feeling hopeful and feeling enlivened. These moments of connection, they matter so much right now. They matter tremendously right now. Hafiz writes, why not become the one who lives with a full moon in each eye that is always saying with that sweet moon language what every other eye in this world is dying to hear? Friends, why not? Why not become that person who's always handing out blessings by saying 
something that someone is dying to hear. These are not complicated messages. They don't even have to be verbal messages. I see you, you belong, you are worth my time, you are lovable, we're in this together, you are not alone. In this Thanksgiving week, see where you can just tuck in a blessing into an exchange, sneak it in at the end of an email or a letter that you're writing. You can say, my wish for you is, or my hope, for you is, you can just stick it right in there. It doesn't have to be complicated. If it feels right, you can always use the time-tested phrase, may you, to share your intention with someone. May you be at peace, for example. Bless someone with your undivided attention. Bless someone by showing up in their personal space in a way that feels welcomed and uncomplicated in its companionship. Bless someone with an offering of food or an offering of art. Bless someone with a text message that says why you appreciate them and your hopes for how their day goes. And you know, the icing on the cake is this, that a blessing is a gift that always blesses the giver back. And that is good for everybody. In these times that feel so strained, that feel so strange, that feel so separating, these times that tempt us into fear and seeing scarcity everywhere, let us remember that this is not the end of the story. We are not at the end of the story. Connections are made slowly and sometimes they grow underground. You cannot always tell by looking what is happening. Let us build ourselves up and build each other up with blessings, weaving real connections, creating real nodes, tangling and interweaving and taking more in to feed a conspiracy of kindness. Trusting how the sacred moves through the particular, trusting that small gestures towards ourselves and others have tremendous impact and trusting that we all have the tools we need to build sheltering walls around each other and to build each other up in love. May it be so and amen.